So uh, I love what you're wearing. Thanks. How do you come up out? How do you put all this together? Do you do this yourself or how does this happen? <laughs> and I mean that sincerely. As a guy who tries to f- go on Instagram and find different ways to put outfits together, you just, how do you do this? Well, I luckily have people around me that make me feel slightly fashionable. Okay. <laughs> so this isn't all you then? They <laughs> not, not all me. Okay. But it's it's close. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Were they laid out? I mean, I'm trying to imagine how that moment happens. No, I, I actually, uh, I get a lot of clothes from photo shoots because I'm like super stingy. No, I'm not. Get a lot of clothes or steal the clothes? No, get. Okay. <laughs> I don't steal everything. <laughs> just buttons. <laughs> just buttons. Okay. Uh, and so a lot of the times I just kind of take influence from that kind of stuff. Good. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like it. Thanks, man. I like it. You pull it off nicely. Thanks. So uh, the jacket looks good and everything. Goes Thanks. with the tattoos. How many tattoos do you have? Many. Can't count. Yeah? Yeah, many. When did you start doing those? When I was 18. Yeah. Tw- oh. I'm 23 now. Right. I, feel <laughs> I, was, I could see it coming out of your I was mouth. Like, <laughs> math. <laughs> no, I would never ask that question. Uh, I would never ask no, that. No, oh, I don't, I don't mind. I would never ask that. Yeah, um, but it, they're oh, mostly I've on my arms. Yeah. And I've got I have one four. on my palm. What yeah. is that? Ah. Oh. Yeah. That had to hurt like hell. I wouldn't wish this kind of pain on my wor- on my enemy. Specifically on the hand that is terrible, isn't it? It's it's so painful. Like the I have one here. That's a which terrible is, part. Yeah, this this w- I thought this was my most painful. This small 5-minute tattoo was the worst pain I've ever felt. And 5 minutes is a long time. It's a long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> It, it is, is a long. I can't even it imagine is. doing that. I have yeah. one down my my ribs. I hear that's. That was the easiest one of all of it. Really, yeah. I hear that it's really painful. It it, it should have been, but they <laughs> now they have this. Did you num- numb it? They did a no, numbing spray. They did. Oh no! Oh baby! <laughs> I mean, they had to kind of do the outline first, but then they uh, numb it, and you're just like, you're not even touching me. This right. is amazing. Right. You got to try the. Well, the spray. outline is the thing that hurts the most. The yeah. shading is the part where you're like, oh, sweet relief. <laughs> well, it was, well, it was just a. It's just writing, so it was fine. But, oh, okay. oh, you got to do the numbing spray. So <laughs> do me a favor, and I want you to. And I know you're humble. I want oh, you to no. look into that camera, and put all the humbleness out of your way, and I want you to just name drop the hell out of these people that you've worked with. Oh. And I know you. I know you probably hate doing this. And please know that this is me forcing her to do this. <laughs> but for a minute, just be like, "I did this." <laughs> Roll up this sleeve. Tell us. Give it. Play the name game and just tell us. Oh man. Some of the things you've done. Uh, I've worked with uh, Haley Steinfeld, uh, Selena Gomez, um, Justin Bieber. Yeah. Britney Spears, Gwen Stefani. So, at what point do you say, you know what? Enough of them. I gotta do some of this for me. Actually, it was when I had written Issues. Yeah. I just thought the song is a little too personal <laughs> for anybody to s- to sing. Sure. Yeah. And uh, is it okay to ask how personal is it? I mean, it's it's obviously I mean, from you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you listen to the lyrics and it's it's pretty much my whole emotional life story. I right. am a jealous person and my highs are high and my lows are lows and, and are lows are low and I'm, you know, I'm desperately in love with my boyfriend but i hate him at the same time and wow. <laughs> i'm i'm just i am the song that is amazing that you actually just you know a lot of people i think hide that and are, f- are fearful of yeah facing no that. i think there's a lot of power in being vulnerable and i think too as a woman i think we get typecast so much as being like crazy emotional women and mm-hmm. and i think uh, like it makes me <laughs> it makes me feel like sad that we feel like we have to suppress our emotions in order to feel like we're s- we're s- we're strong you know but i think i think having those emotions and being vulnerable is strong and that's what the song is yeah putting it all out there yeah it's a, it's about self awareness really how does it feel to hear it knowing that surreal. there's millions of people listening to it surreal yeah yeah the f- i actually just heard it on the radio for the first time when i was in traffic and i was like this is insane. This is this is happening. It was a shock for me. Is is it good or is it almost like wow? I don't know if I should have put this out there. Like, no, it's it's good. It's good. I've s- I've spent a long time hiding behind music that I write, and it's a very very vulnerable experience having people judge you, literally on your life story. Yeah. Uh, but it's also uh, it, the thing that's kind of the most terrifying. Like putting myself out there is kind of the thing that I'm most excited about. I'm sure. excited to not hide anymore. Well, I think it's also the moment where you start to build real fans and right. b- 
and at that point you can almost call them friends and, and they're going to be there because they yeah. know you yeah yeah and i think this is kind of the perfect moment to build a connection with them because that's what i want that's that's my biggest goal i want to be able to make somebody feel something maybe that they haven't experienced yet or, or haven't haven't kind of figured out when they listen to the song I want them to be like oh you know what this is how I feel and I, I I've been kind of like suppressing it and you made you know? it okay for them it's like to if feel I, it right yes so when I they hear that. your song you know what I, it's okay for me yeah, to feel this way exactly I, I like it that. I love there's a lot of people excited about you oh there is a lot of people excited about you oh yeah yeah, so, and you're very humble. It's cute. You live in L.A.? Thanks. I do. I Ooh. live in the Valley. The where like, where about? Like, Sh not Sherman address. But okay. Yeah, Sherman, Sherman Oaks. Oaks. I, I live in Studio City. I'm right down the street from you. Look at you. I, I used to live in, well, I grew up in Santa Clarita, which okay. is like Deep Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> and that's then right. I moved to the, the, the more shallow end of the valley <laughs> when I turned 18. Hey, what do you mean shallow? <laughs> more, more like less. I used to live in, like, Santa Clarita, and my dad lived in Palmdale. So right, right, right. I would always be in that that kind Up of north, valley, sure. yeah. <laughs> so this is just a little bit closer to everything. To everything. Like, what do, you, what do you like to do? Like, what places do you like to go to? There's a lot of, like, great places to eat, and especially Sherman Oaks. There's, like, the churro place that's... Uh, I heard about oh that. Oh, my God. What is it? Um, Happy Ventura. Day Cafe. It's yes. what it's called, Happy Day yeah, Cafe. Yeah, yeah, That's very close oh, to my and house. And it's open till, like, 2 in the morning. I haven't been. I'm af See, I haven't been because I'm actually afraid that if I go, I will never leave. You will never, <laughs> ever leave. They have churros yeah. filled with, like, chocolate. Oh, and don't tell yeah, me it's, that. Yeah, it's the greatest. And they're open till 2 in the morning. It's terrible. This sounds like an ad for them. No, you're screwed. <laughs> uh, what yeah. other stuff do you like to do in, L in L.A., though? What kind of stuff do you like to do? Uh, you know, I'm kind of a homebody. Yeah? I I work so much that at the end of the day, I, like, I'm the type of person that is so stimulated most of the day that at the end, I just I want to just go home and decompress. And, and how do you de decompress? Is it like sweats on, watching friends? Kind pretty much. Like, I... I have a dog. He's a year old now. He turned a year old like two days ago. Aww. So I hang out with him, and I'll just chill out on the on the couch, or I'll like, take a bath, or <laughs> you know something like and what that. What do you watch while you're relaxing? I want to know what you're watching. What's on your DVR? I, you know, what I've been doing lately, I've been watching a lot of um, like foreign films. Okay. Because interesting. Here's my here's my reason. It's because see. I can't speak any other language. Sure. I can I can speak Spanish maybe a little bit. this much. Right. But um, if I watch something, I'm on my phone. I can't I can't disconnect. It's it's hard for me. Mm -hmm. But if I'm watching a foreign film, there are subtitles, so I have to pay attention. So I you're do that. You're forced to read. Yeah. yeah. You're forced to watch it, and you're like, oh okay. So. Interesting. Like You've just forced yourself off of your phone. By exactly. I like it. Okay. Yeah. So it's and it's cool too. It's I, f I find that the more independent films kind of have more more depth to them, or like kind of more twists on stories mm -hmm. that are kind of more interesting. And then you got to watch it, read it, and then go. Wait a minute. Rewind yeah. it because now I have to <laughs> yeah. see what physical. Oh my god, yeah. that's exhausting. I mean, luckily the dialogue is is quite short. Right. So you can pay attention to everything that's happening. Sure. Sure. So. It's yeah. That's that's been my my go-to lately. That's your decompress and yeah. just put everything good. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. Like I Thanks said, people me. are excited about you. Ever by the way, I love 104.3. Tell me why. <laughs> tell me about that. Tell I me mean, about your feelings. <laughs> I listen to it all the time. Yeah. I have three presets. Okay. 97.1, 102.7, .1, 1, and 104.3. Well, 102.7 is <laughs> our family, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's Kiss <laughs> FM. That's <laughs> yeah, good. You can, you can. They're at iHeart with <laughs> <Yeah>. us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. Well, I'm on 3 to 7 in the afternoon while you're sitting in traffic yes, on the yes. 170 or the 101 yep. heading back home to Sherman Oaks. <laughs> That's me saying yeah. hi and sorry that you're sitting in traffic. Oh, well, it's okay. Go I get, get to listen to your voice. There so you go. Nice. There, I'll, talk, I'll <laughs> talk about you all bad about you today. Oh, Now great. we'll talk about Fantastic. this. Fantastic. So thank you so much again Thanks for coming for by. Me. Thanks. Yeah.